Hey guys, thank you so much for jumping into this video today. My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music videos. And I am joined by Matt W2008-2002. Matt, how are you doing today, buddy? Hey man, I'm doing great. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, it's an honor having you here. You were uh, joining us with the whole live stream and video with the Halloween uh, update that I did and we're standing in front of one of the new vehicles with the Halloween updates. So that's pretty rad. And basically, you don't look normal. You, what do you got going on here? What's what's going on with your body and stuff? Well, I've got a glitched out torso, and I got that by putting on a different combination of clothing. And yeah, it some glitches out the arms, and but this one glitches out the torso. Okay, so you got a. You figure out a way to do a glitch. It might be patched. That's not really the concern of what we're trying to get at. But pretty much, patched or not, you got yourself to get a glitched body, a glitched torso. And you are able to see a little cube inside of you. Now, for you guys that don't know what this is or what we're getting at, basically, um, there's been, you know, people that have talked about this cube. Wispy Woods brought up this cube before and how... He showed how when he put on different masks at the um, mask shop that it changed like a little cube inside of his body. What he would do is he uh, found a way to put himself in a corner and use like uh, different modes or whatever to kind of glitch inside of himself. And he was able to see like a little black cube or a black box inside of his body. Um, me and um, Hackshan did a discussion video not too long ago. If you guys haven't checked out that discussion video, I definitely recommend checking that out. Me and Hackshan did a discussion where we also went into a little bit more details on this uh, cube and how he had one from turning into a peyote. Now, um, the cubes seem to be changing for different things. And we're basically saying and coming to the um, conclusion that these cubes are pretty much different triggers like basically the game is recognizing that you have different uniforms or masks masks or outfits on and it's it's recognizing that and showing us that it's recognizing that by showing us different colored cubes or blocks inside of the characters now Matt when you change your your clothing or your articles of masks or different things on your body these cubes will change, right? It's going to change from that green to a different color, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so why don't go you go ahead. ahead and show us the different combinations that you have and what changes the cube. See, we just had, what, purple with checkers? What was green. that? Look at that. There's even little checkers in there. Okay. We got wow. black. So far, those three colors are the only ones that I've noticed. So you got the green, you got the black, and then you got the purple with the, with the little checkers inside. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go through the mask that I have and see if we find any more. Now, for all you mystery hunters that say, oh, well, that's fucking, this shit's bullshit, this doesn't matter, this is online, this is supposed to be stuff, you know, mystery stuff is supposed to be single player. Well, guys, when Wispy Woods did it, it was in single player. And when Hackshan did it with the peyote, obviously the peyote, it was in single player. Okay, so these cubes are not just because we're online. Alright, this stuff is changing because the game is recognizing you having a different change going on within your body. Okay, you're either putting on different masks or whatever and it's changing the cube. Now... We, this is just the start of, of a discovery, guys. This is just the beginning of what we can, you know, eventually come to. We had to do a lot of tests and trials and see what, you know, what we can come of this. You know, we got to find out how to get all of these different cubes that Matt, first of all, is showing us right here. We got to get all these different ones in single player. I know that the one with the peyote was actually a triangle and not a cube. So, there's a different type of, you know, trigger that was found. 
So basically, we gotta go on single player and see what kind of different kinds of cubes or triangles or different triggers that we can find, the different variations of sizes and colors, and see if, um, you know, mark it all down. You know, this gives us this kind, that gives us this kind, and basically find out what we can discover and maybe we can link certain articles of clothing or masks or whatever to certain types of cubes and then if we see a pattern or any consistencies then we can go from there and ultimately use these as part of our theories that we can form and um, you know from there we can just kind of you know doing process of elimination or you know just basically this is going to help us guys and we're gonna figure out more by keeping this all tracked we have to track down our progress we're at such an early stage of learning about these cubes and and these triggers that we really have to just jot down all the information and just roll with it just see if anything changes any new discoveries so basically this video is just uh, me and Matt showing you guys what he has so far you know if you've been following my channel you know about the other ones that were talked about on my channel through other discussions and what else and whatnot so you can kind of have an idea of what we've talked about before and what's happening now and hopefully you guys can have some discoveries that you could sh share with me and and maybe come on this channel and do a discussion with for the future and yeah just basically see what we can come up with so this is a good start I think this is something we should definitely keep our eyes open to keep our minds open to also and see what we can come up with it you know come up with I think it's a great beginning so Matt thank you very much for showing off these different cubes man it's great that you are able to do this um, not many people have this glitch and uh, are able to do this so it's definitely greatly appreciated I know there's other hunters out there that appreciate this kind of stuff so thank you very much and if any of you guys watching this video um, have your own or found your own you know and uh, you want to share it please leave it in the comments below and I'll try to cover as many different variations and new different variations that we come across hopefully we can come across something new and maybe even link it to something in the game like I said before anything that's a consistency or a pattern maybe we can eventually figure out something with this mystery concerning this mystery with these cubes so Great, man. Thank you very much, Matt. Do you want to add anything before we uh, leave here? Uh, yeah. They're basically triggers. Uh, right place, right time, the right trigger. Exactly. And you never know what's going to happen, guys. It's it's something that, you know, is new, so don't, you know, turn your nose up at it, guys. It's It sounds crazy. Like, oh, look at these cubes. But I'm telling you, these are definitely little boxes or whatever recognizing the differences in the character and there's a reason why that's happening thank you so much matt thank you guys for watching stay tuned new videos coming very soon this is just a short little quickie just a little extra video kind of like a bonus video to throw at you thank you guys for watching it's been an honor and a pleasure we'll see you guys in the next video or broadcast thank you very much talk to you guys soon Take care, and as always, peace! Open up my eyes so I can try to find some sort of